Yes, Lars Jubilee here, and we've got this Thanksgiving promo available until November the 28th. So we've got six days to play this, and I'm sure you've all had a look at it and maybe started away. But there's an 85 Howard on the line, and he's got some pretty, pretty impressive stats. Someone who I definitely, definitely want to pick up on my road to glory. Um, and it's possible. It's possible. Been looking on Twitter, looking on Reddit, crunch numbers, and it's definitely possible for all. Although I've been mean, hearing some of these challenges are hard. So we're on a main account at the moment because obviously on my road to glory, I don't have enough points yet. But I've opened some of these packs. They're literally just skill boosts and the Thanksgiving points. But we've got enough to climb the chain. You need 9,050 Thanksgiving points to do them all. And that's provided that you do these all on the first attempt. I have heard some of them are tr tricky though. But I'm here to hopefully help you with that today and show you how to do them all. And anyway, for breaking down, obviously this chain is skill boost, this chain is XP, this is coins, there's some nice coins along the way, 125, 62, 37, 25, so there's over 200, there's what coins, 250,000 coins, uh, 30, 33,000 XP, 40 skill boosts, uh, there's these players here, um, so you get a bunch of golds along the way. Um, obviously there's a chance at getting elites but you get 10 gold or better players and then icon xp which potentially for most of you it doesn't really matter yet but obviously you can still wait for a rainy day because obviously we've got icons coming all year so eventually you should be able to get yourself an icon so how you were doing it we'll start here and work our way through of them i'll probably cut a lot between the videos but on here we have to collect the turkey so i'd first of all recommend don't use run and potentially double tap on the joystick so you can crawl and then once you can crawl um obviously you probably want to get into position first if you step out of boundary it, it fails so you need to you need to get inside you need to get inside of them and then get behind them now the problem is for me iphone x is not very well optimized at the moment you haven't got a time limit, so you take your time with it. But hey, you get them inside and eventually they'll go in. Now this one is gonna be tricky because this guy is literally in the corner. So that's, no, and we've gone out. So that is how difficult it can be. You do get two attempts. You should probably get more than two attempts. It is difficult, but um, you have to get them all. So you need to get them in the corner. Okay, this is more difficult than I thought. Okay, there we go. Get the soft dribbling on and it should be a way to go. Just need to make sure he doesn't run back off into the other corner. Although that should get him there. There we go. He's done himself there. Keep it on soft dribbling. Nate, you've got no time limit. So take your time with it. But you need to, here we go. Here we go and go around the edge. Keep them there and they'll slow the edge in. So this is how you do this. Like I said, I've done it on this account so that I can afford to lose a few to show you guys how it's done. Um, I don't know if do we do this every time so we get the activate the slow dribble back on and then we go there straight away and that's how it's done simple as that um, don't go back into it there we go success that's how you do that one you've got no time limit so take your time with it put the slow dribble on if you need to apparently that's meant to be easy I don't know and then you get your skill boost and then second chain it's back to this one obviously we did this on the build up um the, well this is one but what it oh i've just realized because what it is is you get two on the main one when you get your thanksgiving points you get 250 points um on your first go of the day and it refreshes every 24 hours and then you um, there we go took a bit longer than usual can normally get the straight line best with that is not to necessarily use the sprint if you use the sprint and it makes a sharp turn it's not going to help you so that gets us more there turkey jump okay i'm explaining mostly for the first time so here we um so he's low so actually that's going to go high so that's not good actually that's fine but you've got 10 attempts and you've got to get four turkeys obviously penalties are a little bit harder this year but he okay he's gone back inside does he have a pattern let's choose if he's got a pattern okay so is he going to come inside so we can just go like that there we go you just sort of got to judge it and it roasts the turkey once you're done okay so is that safe to go there or can we've got like say there's a bit of when it all right we're going forward again 
but he's going to bounce there. So you have got... Oh. This is a little bit trickier than Zook, but if you... That's where you want to start. Hopefully you can time it right. If he gets a big bounce to start with, you can time it. Okay, that's a miss. That looked like it went in, to be honest. These, actually, I can see why people are saying these are tricky on Twitter. There, ah, oh, the error margin, so close there. So, so close. Oh, and he's dropping, okay. We can't miss our next two now, okay. These are tricky. Right, let's wait for him to be settled. That, I didn't even aim that way. That's ridiculous. And that's going to go into the corner. It's so... It's good in theory when you're taking a penalty against the computer because you want to get it in the corner. But when you're trying to hit a specific spot, the aim assist just isn't there. And it's just... That should really be going in. What? How is that not counting? Seriously. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Three in a row, that one. That, that, that's hitting it, surely. Right, straight in the corner. And there we go. So you need to time the bounce right. You can sort of judge where it's going for most of them. Like if it's going to the corner, get it into that bottom corner slowly and it'll go in. If it's going to either side, only do a slight direction and it'll pop it off in there. But yeah, for free to play, basically, the way it works for the free to play model is you get the 250 the first time every day. We've got what, six days? Um, and then it repeats and it's between 25, 25 to 100 points each time. So you do the free, then you pay the 100 tokens and you claim the final one. So there's only three events per thing because the fourth one is just the claim. And that's going to get us the trophy and the, the logo. But anyway, for free to play to do it. So go away, Ronaldo. We've got the trophy, got the logo, and we've got some, some more skill boosts. So the reward one needs 1,600 points. Well, like you say, it's 9,050 between them all. But six days. If you want, this is the thing. Per day, you get around just over 120 stamina. Um, your stamina obviously takes five hours to refill, and there's 24 hours in a day. Um, 30 times five is 150. But you don't get quite because it's 24 hours in a day, not 25 hours in a day. So over the day, you'll get over between 120 to 150 stamina, but that's provided that you're using it as the moment you, the moment you, the moment it runs out. So you're never wasting any stamina. And then it roughly averages around you get about 20 ads a day. Um, obviously, I know some people don't get ads, but that's all dependent on your location and if advertisers are willing to pay for your demographic. So your location, age, if it's connected to Facebook, your likes and all of that. If you don't get ads, obviously try restarting the game. If not, there's nothing you can do. If an advertiser doesn't want to pay to show you personally ads, then that's a shame. Uh, but that's the way it is. But you get 120 stamina or so a day. You get an extra 105 from adverts. So that's like 225 a day. You need to use around 100, except provided that on this you get 25 each time. On me, I've been averaging around probably about 30, 35. I've got a few 40s, mainly 30s, a few 25s here and there. So in worst case scenario, you only get 25, which is the minimum possible. Um, and you're doing it evenly every day. So you get 220 stamina throughout the whole day if you use all the stamina you can get. That doesn't count for leveling up and anything or using few points on stamina and you get 250 the first turn every day and then stamina used you'd need to use 162 stamina if you only got the minimum possible points of 25 each time and um, because 250 stamina uh, 250 points first and then 25 lots of 53 goes um, 53 goes taking up to 160 159 and then the free for the 250 is 162 and that leaves you with around 63 stamina to play with a day so it's possible even if you're only using a few ads and you 
doing it's definitely possible to do it i i'd say just use all the all the stamina you can get as soon as possible rather than eking it out so do your minimum for your daily activities in your league versus league and whatnot elsewhere and then focus on this if you need howard obviously if you don't want howard for your team you don't need howard maybe you're close to buffon or you've got a better keeper already then concentrate on skill boosts xp and coins or maybe players if you're feeling lucky because these are repeatable you can start it again and work your way back up and do it as many times as you've got thanks givens for if you don't need howard focus skill boost xp and coins maybe you'll prioritize coins and then skill boost maybe you fancy a look on players but um on these you've got turkey chase turkey herding turkey jump are they the same turkey chase okay so it's the same ones it's the same ones on all three so there's just them three there i think i need to go over them with you on all of them but i don't need to so we've shown you them all obviously they are a little bit tricky in stages but um, they're definitely doable you just need to be patient with them if you're not getting adverts then you're going to need to use all your stamina wisely and then you may need to use fever points you've gained from the campaign because if you do the 500 fever points you get 10 skill boosts and you get between 500 to 250 thanksgiving points so say you only get 120 a day um yeah so say you're only getting 120 stamina a day because you don't get adverts then you may need to use fever points you get from your daily activities and completing campaigns to do like one of these packs potentially um just to top you up for what you're missing out on otherwise because you need that 160 stamina uh, but if you're getting the 250 points that's saving you a lot because 160 stamina is gonna get you say um, 100 let me have a look so it's gonna get you about 1200 or so stamina um, so you're missing out on a bit but maybe you need to open one or two packs and you still get the Howard and for that Howard card, he's got some pretty impressive stats, so they do look there. So I know the majority should you, but it's worth it. You just need to make sure you're doing, you also make, you need to make sure that you're actually completing the event the first time. They are tricky, which you've seen there myself. And these rotate. It says here, this event refreshes every 24 hours. Hopefully it stays on Chase, because Chase is very easy. But I have a, I have a slight suspicion that uh, it may swap between herding, jump and chase. Hopefully it doesn't, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, we'll have to see what it changes to. Hopefully it doesn't, but there is that suspicion it could do. So if it does, it may be a bit more difficult, but we'll have to see. So do hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new here. I will be doing it, provided I don't fail on the events. I will be getting it completed on my Road to Glory account, which you'll see next week's in one of next week's episodes. Uh, but I've got an actual Road to Glory episode coming up tomorrow with what we've been doing this week. Uh, we had a pack opening out earlier, so go check that if you haven't already. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at Joe and I'll see you all later. Peace. <laughs>